Well, hello everybody, my name is Ian, and today we are starting our mage playthrough. When I was on the server getting this wand of sparking because I don't want to have to go to the other side of the world for a water bolt, and the wand of sparking is very, very uncommon in chests. Grabbed it. A person saw me shooting it around in the server. And then they were like, and then they said in the chat, do you want some stuff? And I said, yeah, but not armor, though. I'm starting a YouTube playthrough. I'm starting a YouTube mage playthrough. But they gave me seven mana crystals, which I'm going to allow. I'm going to allow myself to have those. They also gave me three life crystals. So I put those right there. And then this stone was probably from when I spawned in. The um, world had different ideas for the stone. You see, I can't actually place it there. So I spawned there, and it broke it. Well. The last thing I want to do is, um, is I have to go around the entire freaking world trying to find one of these weak things. Because in my other world, in the first series that we ever did, I only found one of these in the entire world, and I'm in freaking hard mode, and I've chest, like, a million chests. So definitely very uncommon. I could call it rare. Okay, let's, um, make a workbench, and make what we can here. The dreams don't even do anything. Why? Why? The set, um, bonus is one defense, so it gives you three defense. Why not the wood dreams have one defense? This doesn't make sense. The Greaves have got no defense, while well, everything else has defense. Really, to me, that's kind of stupid. <laughs> Yeah, and if I keep that there, that's just going to happen again. I'm in for you, Dirt and Stone. I already tried to record this, and I had the corruption, and it was literally across, like, the entire world. Like, only my spawn was not corruption. I got corruption on this one too. I kind of wanted crimson more because I wanted to get a crimson rod. Mm. Need some fried gel tonight. Mm. I was going to take an amethyst staff, but I was like, we can just make one of those if we have copper in the world. If we have tin, we can make a topaz one, though.
And also, when we get in a hard mode, we can always, when we go into a, um, when there's an invasion, we can always get the Shadow Flame Hex doll, which is an amazing weapon, by the way, rated by me. But the Nebula Flare, or whatever it's called, or the ne and the Nebula Arcanum, like both of the Nebula weapons are like awesome. They're amazing. I love them both. My favorite weapon um, of the Lunar Event, like um, before you kill the Moon Lord, not his drops. Um, it's the Vortex Beater. As we defeated two bosses in the melee playthrough. So we gotta get to defeating bosses in the um, ranger playthrough too. We gotta at least defeat the Eye of Cthulhu. Like next episode in that, in that playthrough. But I hope you all just want to hear about this playthrough. And want me to stop talking about my playthroughs. Because I don't kind of want to stop talking about my playthroughs. Guys, if you're gonna hurt things, don't fail at me. I got a freaking wand of fire that's not even affected by. Wait, what was that in him? What's that in him? Oh, it was more copper. I was like, it's something like yellow. It was yellow because it was inside a green slime. Hold control and break it all. See, the guy can't even freaking get in here. He can't even do things right. <coughs> I keep trying to get in close, like my melee playthrough, because I'm too used to melee and like, you know. And also, this thing um starts at um like not at the tip of the weapon itself, so that's annoying. So if something's like right here, and I start to shoot with this thing, the flare starts there. Let's place our workbench. Create our walls. I like that feature. This is a lot faster than how I do it. Or that how I do it normally, that's a lot faster. I love that. Look at this. Normally I'd just be like placing it singular. Like placing it just like by itself. But this like, this is it like so fast.
I knew I need like 30 or something, but I have no idea. Oh, yeah, I hope I need like two more pieces of wood worth it. Oh, yeah. I could just place it down there. That's what I did. I just placed it down there. Uh-oh, I threw the torches. Instead of placing them down, I just threw them. If I go like that and then make two doors like it. I'll take one door, put it over there. I'll take another door. This is like tutorials with Ian. If we want to make house, this is how you do it. Put this thing over here, and you put that thing over there, and there you go, you got the house. Oh no, I have to kill it with that if I'm going to kill it. Oh yeah! If I go over here, I can make furnace. I'm saying this like it's a tutorial. Tutorials with Ian. I should make tutorials. I should make how to kill the eye of Cthulhu and then keep doing the other bosses. I want to be like Calio Gaming. You know what? I'm gonna make the arena. Cause I know. Dun 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 dun. I 
was waiting. I'm sorry, butterfly. I don't want to kill you. I don't wanna care. Wait a minute. Yeah, I do. <laughs> that was a critical. Good morning now. What? Put that there, put that there, boom, got it. One, two, three, one, two, three. Looking good. It's just became me just saying mm -hmm. that, that. This isn't going to be like one of those tiny arenas that I've been making. In series. Uh oh. I'm just like, uh oh. What do you do? I'm surprised that a minute ago I remembered the name of the Shadow Flame Hex doll. Like when I was talking about it being like, Thumbs up rating from me. Dude. One, two, three, 
for. There we go. That's an arena. That's a proper arena. That's a proper little arena. It's small. It's a small arena. Well, anyway, in the next episode, we will get to the first night. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay tasty. Goodbye.